Hey YouTube, this is Passive Cash Stacker, and today we're going to show you how to unlock or un or root virtually any Android device with just one, two, or three clicks. You don't have to have a computer. You don't have to do all kinds of in-depth rebooting or anything like that. Uh, it will be very quick and easy for those of you who just want to root your phone so that you can use uh, rooted programs and, and do various things with root uh, so that you have more control over your device. Now, a disclaimer, when you root your device or you unlock your device or you crack your device, uh, it does void the warranty. So just make sure that that if you're doing this it's it's not on a device that you need a warranty you know if you got a one-year warranty you might want to wait until after that warranty is over whatever uh, but we're going to show you how to quickly and easily do this uh, I tried all the other methods that were out there where you have to you know press three buttons and reboot this and try to get into the bios and all that kind of stuff it's super hard and almost none of them actually work but this is very very simple quick and easy we're going to show you that one on the current phone we're going to do um, we don't have root currently. We're going to walk you through it it's quick and easy, and then we're going to verify root at the end. And uh, it's great because anyone could do it. You could have your little sister do it, or your little brother do it, you know, four, five, six years old. All you got to do is press a couple buttons. So uh, let's go ahead and get in here into this phone. Uh, and the reason we're going to do it is because uh, we want to have some auto clickers for uh, our games, and so we're using our old phones since we have new ones uh, that we've updated. So uh, first, let's go ahead and get into Root Checker, and uh, we're going to see if we have Root. So it says Verify Root. Okay, we don't have Root access there. Okay, we're going to go to Root Check, and it says this Galaxy S3 is not rooted. Now, I'm doing a Galaxy S3 right now. I did one yesterday, uh, but you can use this on almost any Android device. Uh, we also did a tablet the other day. Um, you know, um, almost anything that is an Android device, you will be able to use this with. So it's pretty awesome and amazing. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to uh, the download site. Uh, we'll actually have the direct link to the download site. Uh, this is the site we got it from, which is uh, one of the um, the forums about uh, rooting your stuff. It's XDA. Uh, so you just scroll down here where it says uh, download. And that's what we did uh, on our other devices. We downloaded it here. And then uh, you just have to wait a second for it to load up. Okay, so it tells you the download information. You just want to scroll down here where it says direct download. All right, so that's two clicks so far. Pretty hard, right? Okay, so you see up here in the top, it's actually downloading. So we just got to wait a second for that. All right, looks like it's finished downloading. So we'll just open this up. Right there, it says new King Root version 4.85. So let's go ahead and open that up. And it says install blocked. Okay, so guess what? We have not initiated our developer options. So we're going to show you how to do that. So say cancel. All right, so we're going to show you this quick and easy step to go ahead and do that. Uh, you're going to go into settings. All right. And then you're going to need to find out where it tells you about your device. So you just go to about device. Okay. And then it's going to show you right here the build number okay so whatever your build number is you're going to tap it seven times and when you tap it seven times it's going to unlock developer mode and it's actually counting down at the bottom which is pretty cool alright so we got developer mode open alright so right here you see developer options let's go ahead and select that and then what you're going to do is select USB debugging, which we have. So that's great. Okay. So once again, let's go ahead and do our two taps. Now, if you've already set this developer options, then you don't have to do that. But, uh, you know, you might. 
and I didn't set from unknown sources either. So <laughs> this is funny. Okay, so we got to go in here into our settings and we have to allow unknown sources. Okay, so right here, unknown sources. Okay. And then say okay. So we're getting all these security options out of the way here. Okay, so we've already downloaded it. So let's go ahead and go to the downloads. Give me one second. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hop into the download box. Open that up. And once again, here goes Mr. King Root. So let's open that up. And so what we're going to see is hit next. Next and install very very hard so I think what uh, five clicks if you've already done the security options previously so right here you see that King Root is installing it says app installed so we're gonna open it root authorization safe protection all right it also has something called Purify in there. And one thing that we like about this King Root is uh, it actually allows you to turn off the auto opening of uh, apps. Um, so when you start your phone, you know, you have like 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 apps that automatically open, which slows your phone down. You have the ability to turn them off. You just want to make sure that you don't turn off any systems, uh, you know, system apps, things that the phone actually needs to run. All right. So right here, it says root access is available. It's got my model number. All right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do start root. And it's uh, counting down the percentage here. Uh, usually around 25 to 40 percent. It kind of slows down a little bit, um, but you know, super easy, super quick. We're almost there. Okay, it's going fast now. So right here it says root successful, and then we want to forbid knocks. Okay. And now it's actually checking the security of your phone, which is pretty good. It's got 51 risks, so let's optimize now. All right, and one other thing that we love is it's got Game Booster. And what the Game Booster does is it actually gives it more RAM or more memory when it's uh, playing. Uh, so that if you're going to use this as like an auto clicker or a bot or whatever, it actually speeds up that particular gameplay so that you have less lag, which is really, really nice. All right, so let's go ahead and go back. Let's get out of here and uh, let me show you really quick. So the auto start um, has all of your different apps that you have and you can say whether you want to have them auto start or not. So almost all of these you can take off. Now um, certain things that you don't want to take off, you know, if it's specific to the phone itself. But 99% of this you can make sure that they don't auto start. 44 auto start. Um, apps is what I have on this phone right here and so the crazy thing is is you know it's gonna really slow down the phone um, so if you make sure that they don't all auto start then you will actually make your phone a lot faster you will have longer battery life and all that kind of good stuff so let's get out of here and so once again we're going to go um, to root checker and we're gonna go ahead and check and see if the phone is rooted Okay, so we're going to go verify root. What it says, because I think, look, so congratulations, root access is properly installed. We just had to verify that we were able to use this program and then it worked. Okay, so let's go to the second app just to completely verify that yes, we do have it. 
Okay, let me try to close the program here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do root check. Let's see what it says. Okay, so we're going to allow. All right, and right here it says this Galaxy S3 is rooted. All right, so there you go. Quick and easy. You know, uh, if you're not talking and you're not trying to explain it, it takes about three to five minutes to root your phone. No headaches. No headaches. Um, and it gives you the ability uh, to be able to use all of those other programs and give you the power of the phone that is there, but the carriers take away from you. So hopefully this information was helpful. If it was, please give us a big thumbs up. Please favorite, please like, please tweet, please pin. We will have the link below. Uh, so check it out and, uh, you know, check us out for some more information on how to use your computer, on how to use bots, on how to use various things and how to make money at home. We'll talk to you later.